Yeah. I think we're live. I think we're good. We're good. Well, I'm going to wait a few seconds, two minutes. Oh, there it is. Oh, snap. We're here. We've got a crowd with us today. Welcome, everyone. So far, we'll, we'll wait a few more seconds until people can log in. Slightly out of breath. I have a large glass of water here <laughs> from Jesse. <laughs> Jesse's with us. Us being, we have a whole crew, actually. It's me, Keenan. Hello. Thank you for coming today. Welcome. And we have Jesse running, sort of running the cameras. Yeah, I'm just going to cheer you on. I'll be Thank your you. art cheerleader today. Thank you. I don't know if they can hear us because I can't hear. I'm usually here. Do I need to slouch a little? Okay. Should I sit on my bucket? <laughs> I have a bucket. Yeah. I good. also have a Subway sandwich. I was thinking about eating that since I was running a little behind. <laughs> I don't want to chew in your ear, though, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do that. We also have Taylor, who's just pointing cameras at me. <laughs> And then we also have Amy over here. She was uh, willing to... Hello. Hi, Amy. Hi. She was willing to film with Jesse and I today, which was a lot of fun. And we also have Mary. Mary? Hello. Oh, there she is. She tried to wave, but she's not near a camera, so... <laughs> she had to get a little roast. That's all right. Good. But, uh, yeah. Chime in. Where are you from? What's your name? How long have you been going here? What's your favorite snack? I actually, I wasn't joking about a sandwich. Let's see that sandwich. Look at this sandwich. <laughs> That's a good looking sandwich. I have a sandwich with me. You know, it's the <laughs> Italian herbs and cheese sandwich bread and the, it's delicious. I also have several extra napkins just in case. Do you want me to hold it for you keep it safe while you're filming right now? I, I don't trust to do that. that. <laughs> I don't trust that. It's too close to lunch for, well, to trust people with my food. I'm just so excited about switching places with you and eating while you work. <laughs> <laughs> On you. I'm, glad you have, I'm glad you're enjoying this. <laughs> so I'll try and uh, how are we looking? Do we have several people here? It's hard to be sitting here not knowing how many people are with us. Usually I, I know this fact. Actually, I think I have a secret way to look. Oh, oh. <laughs> thank you, Taylor. <laughs> Let's just check in. We're good to go? Yeah, you're up. Okay, awesome. Good. Again, everyone, welcome. I don't know if what you're saying. I hope it's all kind things. If it's mean Kim, things, you know. Kim Kirk said, don't get hangry. I can't get hangry. That's not true. I can. I lied a minute ago. When I said I couldn't get hangry, I can. I haven't ever seen it. That's true. It won't happen here. Okay, I'm actually, I'll just get started since uh, all of us are here now and we're just being friends hanging out. I'm literally just here to paint with you. We're gonna, we called this creative time or creative play with Keenan, and it's just for us to paint and create together. I actually chose um, to do two different projects and combine them. So I liked the techniques individually and I wanted to see what I could do for them as one. And so the projects I chose was an OG one from when back in the day when Sarah was doing five minute time lapses and she did voiceover, it was a good time, classics. This one is her galaxy scape. I painted this one a few weeks ago. I struggle with trees, so I was actually thinking it'd be a good idea for us to do a couple warm-ups too, because she used to do those before her videos as well, so I have a little scrap paper here. And uh, this is, I used, I have sea salt now for this live, but for this project, I used table salt, and I think it turned out really well. I just realized, can you see the top cam? I can. Is it on the top part of that tablet or on the bottom part? What I see on the bottom is you pointing at me asking okay. me what's on the bottom. <laughs> if you want to hand me the, t the iPad, I can actually run the cameras a little okay. bit. Yes. I'll that way they I can see what I'm pointing at. Did you make that artwork? Yeah. So that's not Sarah's, that's yours? Yeah, this one is, this one is, uh, is mine. Katie, that's so good. Thank you. Wait, don't get so excited. They may not think it's that great. I think it's great. Okay, here we they go. They think it's great. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now we can see it. Oh, can you hear me though? Yes, you can. Okay, so you can probably see, I hope, I'm not sure what you're saying, but I hope you can see all these tiny little explosions. I love those because that was, that was just table salt instead of sea salt. And I don't know, I think it was just the closest salt to me and I ended up loving it. Trees are my nemesis. So that's why we're going to warm up with some trees in a minute. Ford says howdy. Hey, Ford. 
Lord, how you doing? Gosh, this is exciting. This is Nicole's project, and she used bleed proof white for the moon and for some of the stars and some splatters. Oh, I don't have a toothbrush. We probably have one down here, but that she used a toothbrush for this as well, I believe. Yeah. All right, we can we can look for that. Yeah, so this was, this was uh, Nicole's project, and I combined them. I liked the circle shape. Thank you. Yeah, so she just used the special technique. Oh, that's kind of gross. It's paint shards, but that's cool. But I combined them to make this one, and this is so far my favorite. I love all that texture you got. Yeah, thank you. And you're gonna teach how to do that? I'm gonna teach how to do all the things as best I can. I'm no teacher, so that's why they put me here so that you can see that beginners can do this too. Yeah, so, uh, I did Lauren this. says, it's how I'd picture Planet Keenan. Planet Keenan. <laughs> yes, thank you. And everybody's saying, oh, wonderful, very nice. Oh, they're loving it, they're nice. loving it. Nice, good, thank you. Okay, so all I changed was I mean, I really didn't change anything. I just combined them. So I, I put the bleed proof white here for the moon and I might move it over here. I like both. It just depends on what I liked for how my, how my stars and galaxy turned out. So here's the top here. We're going to start. Oh, I used a bowl. The things you need. That's right. We need that. The things you need are fairly simple. I literally grabbed random colors. So I apologize in advance if you don't have these colors, but I grabbed a black because in Sarah's galaxy tutorial, she mixed black and blue. And it, I liked those color combos. And this is an azure blue, a rose red, and a dandelion yellow. Cause I thought I would like to get some kind of like a teal in there for the sky above the trees. So you will need a pencil to trace your circular object. It can be any size. Maybe you can do, Ooh, we could even do a smaller circle and do multiple Gal like miniature ga galaxies, and I think that'd be sweet too. And I have the old trusty round six and round two, and these are our Let's Make Art brushes. I like how they feel, you know, they're, and they're gray, and I think I like that. Okay, so let's get started with that. Oh, and don't forget, I also have the salt. What kind of salt is that? This, Does it is, matter? this is the old Morton sea salt course. So just any kind of salt would work? Any kind of salt. Because I use, like I said, I used table salt for my projects. And it was super cool. So I'm pretty Sweet. excited. So we're just going to get started. And this has some drying time. And since this is alive, I'm going to mix this in with some questions I have for you. So you better get in your hot seat because they're going to be real questions. Okay, let's get started with tracing our circle thing. I'm going to try and go as fast with the tracing as I can because usually I try and get it as perfect as I can. Do you want me to read some more of these comments what? for you? Yeah, you're read some comments. Do you have any questions for me? Melissa Johnson said, my five-year-old just came flying across the room. Mom, it sounds like Keenan. Love the painting you did. Yes, <laughs> nice. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, that's so great. Awesome. Well, now I'm excited and a little nervous. <laughs> Five-year-olds put pressure on you. I don't care who you are. Okay. So with Sarah's project, the way she did it and the way we're going to do it today she used around six, I believe, I'm pretty sure. And she just got the areas wet. Oh, I better put some paint down because I'm not as fast as she is. She's really good. So I'm gonna put some black paint. You don't need a lot of black paint because it's a very saturated color. It's, a very, it's just a very strong color and it takes over other colors very easily. And we get some blue. How's that look? We look okay. Oop, got too much blue. I got distracted by the cameras. And then I'm going to put some red. You're doing a great job multitasking. Thank you. Can't hear it still, so that's kind of throwing me off, but we'll be all right. And we got some yellow. Dandelion yellow. Hello. Tony Ellie has said, I hope he's getting paid today. <laughs> <laughs> I had to sleep here last night, so yes, I am. That's my payment. Okay, so we're gonna, I like to do the wet on wet technique. And if you don't, if you're new enough to where you don't know what wet on wet is, it just means mixing a wet thing with another wet thing. So wet water, not dry water. Do not use dry water. It threw me off the first time. And then uh, you choose an area that you want to paint and it does not have to be perfect. I have been struggling ever since I like, any time I paint, I try to make it as perfect inside the lines as I can. 
and it doesn't have to be. So don't forget that. And a couple things I wanted to take from each of the artists. Sarah likes to say that this is just a piece of paper. It's not a big deal. Don't stress over it. Jesse says, don't be precious. Mm -hmm. She likes to set intentions, kind of calm down. I didn't breathe before, and I think that we should probably breathe for a second, but mm -hmm. now my water's down, so let's wait a second to do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get some black and blue together, and look at that. And here's the other thing. We've got to get our salt on while this paint is still wet. Oh my gosh, but I love it so much. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then naturally, because of the water, it lightens up as it goes away from that edge. But you can see the difference. Here's a dry stroke right there. So you can see the difference of the textures where it expands and explodes here, and then it doesn't where it's dry. But we're going to play with both. See, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to be precious with the with the edges. And to quote Nicole, you can do this. So let's do this. We've got this, right? We can do anything we can put our minds to, I think. A couple people about the, should I do an oath? Oh, snap. Should I use Sarah's oath? I set an intention. No, I'm going to skip the oath because we know it. We know the oath. I think. Make my own oath. Promise to have snacks. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to wash this down a little bit. Mr. Bull said it doesn't have to be perfect as he goes and does it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop it. Somebody else said, oh, Ad um, Adria, what is dry water? <laughs> <laughs> I might have made that up. I apologize. Shannon I says, looks like clouds like that. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh yeah, we could even actually do, I did this too, where I did drops of water only on the wet paint and it does its own little explosions. And so I'm gonna, I have the salt here and I'm gonna put it in this dry, or excuse me, in this wet paint real quick before I move farther into my globe area. Kizzy Westover says, look at you giving your fans what they want. <laughs> <laughs> Kizzy, Kizzy's my sister. She's great. I had to throw that in there. Yeah, thank you. she votes for Keenan Oath. I'll think of something. Mm -hmm. I just know that everyone can do this, so maybe that'll be it. I promise to know that I can do this. <laughs> Repeat after me, I know I can do this. That's Wait, it. you gotta take a deep breath, though. Okay, I gotta take a deep breath. You said okay. you were gonna do it. Okay. Okay, everyone, Jesse's intentions are great because it, it gives us a time to breathe deeply and then release that air and calm down a little bit, especially for lives. If you're live right now, just, you should calm down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, deep breath. Everyone do it with me, please. <sighs> Thank you, there we go. I already feel better. So good call, Jesse. That's a great call. All right, moving on. Get some more paint. I mean, water, wet water here. I'm just going to spread this out. I'm not very, I don't know how Sarah gets so much water on a one brush. <laughs> she made a deal with the brush makers, I think. Here we go. Okay, I'm feeling better about the amount of water here. I want to get a different color though, because I like, I like more colors. So there's still some wet spots in the other paint. Okay, it's a little too green for me, but that's okay. Joy said dry water is like dry ice. That's kind of, that was kind of <laughs> in my head. I was like dry water, not dry ice. There's such a thing, it's gotta be real. But it, there's no such thing as dry water. Chris Maybe Wheat. to fish. What'd you say? Chris Wheat. Yes? A suggestion for oh. your oath. Okay. <laughs> That is excellent. That's true. I will always have fun. Okay, I'm going to mix. Oh, wait. I didn't want to put too much red in that green because it makes it brown. So get some purple in here. Oh, that's going to make it brown, maybe. That's okay. And actually, Sarah did a really dark um, outer line until about, I feel like, uh, the halfway point. And I really liked how that looked. Oops, but that's okay. 
There we go. Amy, you okay? I'm great. Good. Just away over here. Nice. You, what do you have? Taco salad from Amy. Okay, okay. Lunchtime, folks. Do you want any side cam action for them to see your details or anything? Sure. Let me, uh, I got a little split camera here that I know that people like to see. Oh, yeah, split camera. There we go. There's some split cam for you. I wish I could do picture in picture and split cam. That'd be great. Now, we want to keep the bottom a little lighter because we're gonna put trees down there. We didn't warm up with trees like I said we would. We'll do that before we do the actual trees. So let's get some more, I like to get some clouds in here. Sarah I'm likes to call these there. stabby motions and that's aggressive, <laughs> but I don't know how else to describe it. So do some stabby motions with water. And I'm gonna get some salt, I know I put it somewhere, here we go. Do clouds have good posture? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know they do. Molly said, I also hope someone makes a posture joke on camera for my own little giggle. That was for Molly. You already had good posture. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to sit up as straight as I could. <laughs> Whilst also still remaining in camera. Okay, this is kind of the drying moment. It seems like it's still pretty good. I should have a reference, I guess. This is what we're kind of going for. But look, I love the green. Look how different that is from... I can't see your reference. I know, I got excited. Look how different it is from the original though. Right? Isn't that sweet? Less purple, more green. I love that. Everything always changes. Okay. So this is the dry moment. I was going to ask some questions because I need some information from you. And so I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to do a split screen for you. So if you want to watch... If you want to watch my paint dry... You can, and I'll be over here on the right. Okay, so I have a, a few questions I wanna ask. This is important for me because moving forward with you, I wanna make sure that you guys are getting out of me what you would like to see. And that's kind of the uh, other fun part of creating. And I wanna create with and for you as well. So I wanted to know from you guys who watches the coloring with Keenan videos what do you watch it for and what is something you'd like to see more of if anything and I'd like some answers Jesse Chris Wheat says so creative lives with Keenan is going to be a monthly thing now right <laughs> so I mean it's a possible I mean I don't Mary what? feel free to chime in they're also here to make sure I don't say anything I'm not supposed to. You guys are good. We're all teamwork. Don't worry. You guys, you guys are great. You're doing a great job. Okay. But those are kind of the ideas. I'm kind of looking for information from you guys because I didn't know that you would enjoy time with me for one. And so it's been really awesome and pretty humbling to meet a lot of you virtually. And uh, it's been really exciting. So I want to be able to understand what you would like to see more of. Jesse. So we got a couple here. <clears throat> Sarah um, says it's so fun watching Keenan. Um, there's a couple other people saying that this is their, Joy says this is my first Keenan video. Mm -hmm. Welcome um, Joy. Actually welcome everyone. This is my first live. Do we have some first time um, viewers on YouTube as well? Um, there's comments of people saying like they're like adults are watching you at work. Oh, adults, um, welcome. Also would gladly lose sleep to watch you anytime. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Proverbs 27.1 says, please don't end in all caps. Please don't end in all caps. Okay. Oh. We'll just be here for the rest of the day. Mary Catherine says, I just got an alert and started watching fun, but I missed how this all came about. Do tell. Okay. So this came, actually, I'll go to the beginning of, I guess any, Mary, any videos with Keenan, right? I'm looking for you for reference. So I'll just start. Last year I was wearing the same shirt and uh, it was for an April Fool's video where we released <laughs> and it was, about, uh, it was about me being the new artist. And I'm gonna go to full screen here. I think my paint's almost dry. 
But uh, it was about me being a new artist for Crayons with Keenan, and it was such a big hit that there were a lot of requests of, hey, we should actually do something with Keenan. Um, it became a discussion, and I started coloring with Keenan, I think in July of last year-ish, June, July-ish. And uh, yeah, so that's, I mean, that was the beginning of me being in front of the camera, because before I was just the voice and the video guy, and no one, some people knew what I looked like, some people didn't. Um, and so that's where it started, and it's turned into me coloring with, I think, I think primarily with kids. Uh, I have two children of my own. I have a six-year-old and a four-year-old, Eleanor and Vita, and I have them on my Coloring with Keenan videos. They're primarily based for kids, and um, I, I do them in conjunction with Nicole Muki. She's our kids subscription box artist, and she was our lettering artist before, and so I do them with her, some of like things that go off of her projects. Jesse. Uh, Michelle Moody says, oh, it's scrolled back, hold on. <laughs> I'm watching with my homeschoolers. I need art ideas. So I think that's something okay. um, that group would want to tune into for a future things. What kind of art ideas? Because I have a feeling we could explore with, I have a little bit of flexibility with uh, what things you might want to see. So any kind of art because I can think of some pretty random things I can turn into art. <laughs> Sneaks says, we love spending time with you. You're so funny and fun. Keenan, I'd like to see you explore art projects that aren't just for short people. Aren't just for <laughs> short people. Uh, Sarah says, I love watching Keenan because it's so lighthearted and funny and the art is always so freeing and joyful. Okay, perfect. Well, then I'll, I'll just keep being me and I'll find out more non-short person, aka children, uh, art projects to do with you guys. And I don't know, maybe it might, maybe it may not be painting because I can think of different ways to create art outside of painting. Um, but yeah, this is great. I love that. Mary wants you and Michael to have your own podcast. And I agree. <laughs> that would be super fun. Michael, Michael Cray, I assume. Michael yeah. Cray is Sarah Cray's husband and he does a lot of, he does some of the videos right now too. And uh, he's, Super smart, lot, very knowledgeable on videos and life. So I think that could actually be a lot of fun. Jesse. Andrea says, I have four little boys, so seeing another guy paint is great for them. They love painting. Kid jokes would be an addition to pair with the project. Okay, okay. My daughter Eleanor has a hilarious kid joke that shocked me when I first heard it. <laughs> Jesse, you're going to have to help me out. Ready? Knock, knock. Who is there? Never mind, it's the wrong joke. She says, she says, but I got, I got you a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> so she says, how do vampires open doors? How? With doorknobs. <laughs> Lois and Eleanor should have a podcast. Oh, I, I agree. That'd be so funny. It'd be so great. But um, yeah, so that was, that was the beginning and this is the now. And so any more information you guys want to give me on what you'd like to see, I can work on action items and ideas for that. Taylor. Danison said Danison. to throw a product that's available on our shop at you and you can show how to use it. Done. Oh, like a cooking show where you just get a basket of stuff you don't know what you're going to yeah, get and then you have yeah. to make something with it? Oh, it's so cool. I have... <laughs> I'm scared. A no, I'm ready. I'm down. I'm down. Uh, I have an idea. It's called Between Two Keenans. <laughs> It's a secret right now, so don't tell anybody. This, don't tell anyone. This is alive, but I know nobody's watching. So just keep that between yourself. You decide what it means. We'll, I'll release one I'm about it. I'm trying to contain myself. I'll, I'll release a video called Between Two Keenans about something. You'll, you'll see. It's great. Uh, okay, so I think I will wait for more information from you. We can keep talking, but I'm going to go back to the painting, and we are just going to have a blast. Just have a blast. I'm going to do the double screen again because I actually prefer it myself. Okay, look at that. It's all dry. One thing, you're going to want to knock off the shards of uh, salt, but don't get rid of it because I have a cool thing I did with my last project. I think it worked. We're going to find out. Okay. Oh, I don't have any bleed-proof white. 
but I can do trees. Can I have an assistant get me some bleed proof white? It's right there, I found it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I think this, this looks like marshmallows. Does it taste like marshmallows? Double dog dare you. Does not smell like <laughs> double dog dare you. There are children watching. <laughs> I'm gonna get some bleed proof white on here. Stephanie Harrison says that she heard you can paint a mean tulip. <laughs> <laughs> I can paint. <laughs> I'm not going to do it now. Now I'm put on the spot. <laughs> I can paint a mean tulip. That is hilarious. That, I'm not sure. I feel like I've said that several times as a joke. But uh, 2019, 2019, I believe, we went to the Tulip Festival in Utah. And Sarah taught me how to paint a tulip so that I could then teach other people how to paint a tulip. And uh, yeah, I, got, I mean, I, could, I, got it, I got it figured out. It was a really great time. I ended up doing it upside down. It's not a big deal. Okay, I'm gonna put the moon in. And I think I need it to be a little, I almost dumped this entire thing of water <laughs> on my painting. <laughs> that would have been jar. unique. Yeah, that's a big jar. Okay, I've got some bleed proof white. And I actually used the lid of a candle? Do you want something else around? Nope, I'm gonna do this. Where do I want the moon? I think I want it. Earlier someone said you could even do two moons, which I thought was exciting. Ooh, like Tatooine has two suns. Does, do you guys know what Tatooine is? Ne never mind. I'm gonna put it, okay, good. I'm gonna put it up here. I really like these blooms, but I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna trace this real quick. One thing I played with one time was just a crayon and watercolor, and that worked really well because the crayon blended in. It didn't like take over. That's a really weird shaped moon, but we're gonna go with it. I'm into it. Yeah, okay. So here's our moon shape. Christiana says you are the moon. I am, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Marilyn Woodward said, making a collage or working with clay, great for all ages. So that's her suggestion for content coming up. Oh, Amen. that would be super fun. Okay, I've got it upside down here, which is good. I'm gonna get this moon figured out. There can't, there's no way the moon is a perfect shape. I have a question from Lori. She wonders how much water you're using with the bleeper's white. That is an excellent question. I. I'm not using a lot, and I think it's making it kind of, it's like more creamy and harder to move. Like You're not using a lot of water with bleed-proof With the bleed-proof right? white. Okay. But be, so, and I think that's a problem for me. I like it to be more smooth. So I think, I'll put this a little closer. There we go, the side angle there for you. But I think if I add a little more water, it'll be a little easier to manipulate. Like and, just and it, it thin or? Uh huh, and it makes it smoother as well. So, I'm not, it's not the, my brush is not dripping with water. I like to have a fairly non drippy brush, but I think that that hindered my bleed proof white activity. If that makes sense. So, I'm gonna do a little bit more bleed proof white right here. This looks good. Yeah. And then, like I said, I saved the salt. And why? Because I'm pretty sure the salt takes on the colors of the paint it pushes around. So I took some salt from the side of my table, because it's got some blues in there, and I put it back in my Bleed Proof White Moon. And it kind of bled the paint around that was on the salt. And my nephew, Hayden, was on one of Nicole's kids' projects and he put water in his bleed proof white and it expanded as well. Cool. So I also did that. Yeah, he had, a, he had a good idea, which is not surprising. He's a smart kid. Okay, I don't know why every project I've done with this circle, I can't get paint on this bottom ring. 
no matter what I do. Isabel Garcia said, wing it, Keenan, live on the edge. So you're just gonna have to live on the edge right now. Winging it. This is what I do in the background usually. <laughs> whenever whenever Sarah or, or Jesse or Nicole say anything, I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not distracting, it's no, encouraging. They, they love it. They're like, okay, cool, cool, cool. We, we're feeling that jive. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna do the trees. Yes. I'm nervous, guys. Let's get some warm ups real quick. Allison says, this is stunning. Allison, you're stunning. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh wait, I'm using my round two. I used a round two for the moon as well. You might experiment with which one pushes the bleed proof white around better. What do you mean? Well, for me, the round two was a little on the weaker side. I don't know how else to explain it. It just didn't push it around as much, just like how I couldn't get very much water on the round six. Mm. It seemed weird. So you might try the round six for the bleed proof white. Ooh, Shannon O'Brien said, go for all, go for alien trees, full Star Wars. What? <laughs> Does this an alien like tree, okay. I'm you know, a, this is all right. This is this is what I'm going for. Alien tree. When, I have a good question here for you. What type of salts are you using? Ah, this is the sea salt course by Morton. <laughs> they are not our sponsor. I am going to do what I think of as an alien tree. I love that you're just winging it now. Okay, that's entirely too large. Let's go for a smaller tree. We're going for a small tree that's going to fit. In the bottom here. A little baby alien tree. A little baby alien tree. <laughs> so we're gonna. Oh, I, didn't even, I couldn't even get it. I was trying again. <laughs> That's a thick alien tree. Let's try a thinner one. Oh, wait, there's a. Isn't there a way? You twist, twist and shout. Twist and shout. Ah! There we go. <laughs> thinner, thinner, thinner. Thinner. Okay. Okay. Here's the alien part. Ready? That's how it's going to be in the middle. Thin base, thick middle, thin top. Alien tree. That's how I see it. And then it's going to have weird branches. This is how I get away from painting real trees. This is genius. Whose suggestion was that? Because that's genius. The alien trees? Oh, that was Shannon. Shannon. <laughs> You're great. Okay. Alien trees. Be warned. You've been warned. Thin, thick, thin, also known as a leaf. That's a, an old reference as well. Okay, gonna go for a thinner one. There we go. Ooh, that's a good alien tree. I've seen that before. Oh, little alien weed. Not that kind of weed. Okay, here we go. <coughs> there we go. These are nice. They're almost like hedges. Hmm. Huh. Hmm, how quaint. Let's mix, I'm into it. Let's mix a little bit of uh, bleed proof white here. It's like gray. A really pretty gray. <laughs> I have a nice long comment I want to read to you, but I don't yes. want to interrupt your alien trees. So Thanks. you tell me when you're ready. This, this kind of looks good. like kelp as well. Kelp? Yeah. What is, I can't is imagine real? what kelp is looks kelp like in my head right now. But now I'm not sure. Your interpretation. Well, this is my interpretation of alien trees and kelp. So this is what, this is your visual. <laughs> You're welcome. I was trying to mix like kelp and alien tree like in a new word, but it is impossible for my brain to get around that. <laughs> <laughs> Kelpian, we're gonna call it a Trilps. Kelpian tree. <laughs> Trilps. Trilps. <laughs> Trilps. Sarah wants to know if we can get a close up of the trees you're doing. Close up yes. of the trees incoming. Okay, while you're working that camera, I'll read this comment from Janet because it is yeah. fabulous. You ready? Ready. <laughs> she says, Keenan gives value to the artist and the work, whatever it is, because he is willing to see and learn something new. That is what is contagious. He encourage us to, uh, encourages us to see and try new things and learn and enjoy what others are doing e and even gives us the impression we can do it too. Keenan talks directly to the listening audience, just like we're there, rather than just letting us listen in to the conversation between him and those in the studio. He's very calm, realistic, like in a real conversation, like he's listening and waiting for our response. Who was that? 
Janet. Janet, you're so nice. Gosh dang it. I love hearing that kind of feedback. I do too. That makes me feel so good. Thank you, Janet. And we like imagining that we're hanging out painting with you because we are. We're, we're all together here right now. Exactly. That's why I like. That's why I, I wanted to emphasize that I'm just here to create and paint with you because I want you to feel comfortable. Also, Taylor Allen said they look like alien cattails, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> Nature's corn dogs. I don't think they're tasty, not at all. I wouldn't suggest eating them, to be clear. Don't eat alien trees, aka nature's corn dogs. Okay, Alicia says, you are great with kids. If this were a weekly thing, I could see us coloring with you, drawing, or even Play-Doh. You are encouraging creative thoughts in all children while being super funny. Play-Doh? <laughs> yes. That would Play be so fun. That's what I'm saying, making stuff with our hands. We can mm. have a lot of fun there. I've got some ideas. I think, unless I want to get crazy with anything else, I think this is the end of the painting. And I think you guys did a fantastic job following along. Should I put another moon in? I don't even want to stop. Yes, another moon. Okay, should it be right next to this moon or should it be in a different spot? Well, it could be like a, a smaller moon, but like. Yes. Like, you know. Wish like granted. A sister moon or a brother moon that's kind of near it. Poof, what do you need? <laughs> A sister moon? I mean, it could be whatever you what want. What if it's behind it and smaller? So I'm thinking a smaller circle right now. That's too dark. I'm going to do it underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into that. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Somebody else said Kalian trees, which is great. The kelp. Kalian trees. Kalian. That was Adria. Sorry, sometimes it scrolls up and I can't catch it. There we go. Okay, we've got the circle. We've got the smaller circle. This is also going to be called the upside down snowman moon because I think it's gonna look like that. Oh, this is my opportunity to use the uh, round six with the bleed proof white. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, let's do a different colored moon. <laughs> I like it. Also, Marcy Clark said, I just like Keenan because I finally found someone I think snacks more than me. <laughs> Fact. I can put some I'm, food away. I'm here to test it's a that gift. while I eat one of his cosmic brownies. Yeah, I only have three left, Jesse. Now you only have two left. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do a faded, a pre-faded moon because I think it's farther away too. So that's uh, atmospheric perspective. Let me jump down here with, this, if, with the old side cam here. All right. Trish says that you make us want to be childlike again. And she says thank you. Thanks, Trish. I'm seven at heart. Always have been. Always will be. Can't change me. I mean, I think there's something deep there, though. Like, we all started out artists as kids, and then then we started taking it too seriously, and some of us stopped, right? So that's true. That's how you get back. It's just... Accepting that, that you're still a child. Nothing wrong with that. No. Molly says, question mark. Stars, question mark. <gasps> Thank you, Molly. Susan <gasps> said, red moon. Well, that's kind of what the salt was going to be but i forgot we got the toothbrush so it's gonna be perfect oh and isabel said totally looks like an underwater scene and you were talking about kelp, kelp. So. we've changed from a galaxy to an, we're going to call this water world like kevin costner's movie from the 90s <laughs> oh man that's a classic right there good night i'm gonna put a little green in there because why not tiffany oh, you says ufos <sighs> How do I draw a UFO? I mean, it's unidentified, so it could be whatever you want, right? I'm making it Joy a little Joy says darker. a comment. Comment. Okay. 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 Here we go. Let's do a comment. Some stars. And let's do... Let's do Nicole's comments. I already have... I don't know what I'm doing. I actually did like putting the... Bleed proof white on the round six better. I'm Good not sure know. why. I don't have that kind of technical ability to explain it as well. But that's just fine. Chris Sweet says, art with Keenan, how to be a kid again. Hey, also, 
Do you guys have any suggestions on what we should call, what I should move forward with? Well, I kind of like Chris's Art with Keen and How to Be a Kid Again. I mean, that's pretty All right, great. I'll do that. Art with Keen and How to Be a Kid Again. Debbie wants to know if cooking with Keenan is too much. <laughs> Ooh, we'd need a kitchen. And I'd only be making no-bakes every single week. There's dozens and dozens of no-bakes. Okay, one of Nicole's comments, which she teaches so well, you start at one point and you go, oh, I am so happy with that comment starting right there because it has the dry brush technique. I want to add a little water though. Okay. Wait, you did the comment with a dry brush? Yeah, it was on Explain accident. Explain that. It was on accident. Here, let me get some. Let me get some side cam for you. <clears throat> so I accidentally had a slightly dry brush, and it gave this rough texture mm -hmm. instead of a smooth texture. So let's watch this and see what happens. Okay, smoother. I got to. I got to meet those up. Oh no, what have I done? Perfect. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. That's that's great. That's what comments look like in this underwater world. Uh, let's do another comment over here. They're mm -hmm. going to be buddies. There we go. Nice. nice sound effects. Thank you. <laughs> I learned them from the camera guy. <laughs> the other Keenan. The other Keenan, who you'll meet someday. Okay. Stars. Get some more bleed proof white. Vanilla said, Keenan, just keep doing every request in the comments. I mean, you've taken on some art challenges here. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm, okay, I made mine a little large on the one I did, so I'm gonna try and make it a little smaller this time. We're gonna put a star up here, and it's gonna just, you just do an X. Dang, there we go. And then you do one more line in the middle. And that's a star. Kids can crush these ones because they're artists and they are fantastic. There we go. That's a star. And then this is, we got to use the toothbrush. Yeah, Sarah says star with, stars with toothbrush, question mark. Oh yeah, it'll, oh, Sarah, you, <laughs> reading my mind. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dip your toothbrush in the water. Grab some bleed proof white. Inspect bleed proof white toothbrush. This will not make your teeth whiter. Are you sure? Have yep. you tried this at home? Oh, no comment. <laughs> okay, here we go. You want to have the bristles down and you want to take your index finger what happens if you have the bristles up? Also, <laughs> also no comment, Jesse. Thanks for asking the hard questions. There we go. There we go. Hey, look at all these stars. <laughs> I think you're real funny, don't you? Well, once Mary starts laughing, stop. <laughs> Mary has very contagious laughter. It's so great. So good. This is a good crew, guys. We got a good team here. I like being on this side of the camera. Look at that. We got some stars. <laughs> I'm awesome. saying stars like that on purpose. <gasps> okay, hear me out. I'm going to do see red stars. I'm going to do red stars. Someone said teeth whitening with Keenan. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Joy. <laughs> hey, Keenan. Yes, ma'am. Um, Taylor. Hear me out. Okay. <laughs> what this is Taylor talking about? <laughs> what if you did. Um, the rest of the video with uh, um, your National Geographic voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've heard that voice. That's my favorite. Listen, I haven't uh, changed my voice that drastically in a while. I don't know if I can do it. I've never heard it, so you have to. I, ha I, mm -hmm. I have to. <sighs> it takes a long time for me to get into character. It's all right. It was too much pressure. It's too much pressure. <laughs> I'll be moving on. No National Geographic voice today. Maybe we, maybe I'll make a, a TikTok of it. Oh. We'll do some voiceover on a TikTok video and you guys can go check that out. <laughs> Let me give you a close up on this here. Look at these, look at these stars. I put red paint, blue paint, bleed proof white, 
and it just kind of filled it in. It just made it look so nice. And it's just lovely. Just a lovely little piece here now. Jody says, this makes my afternoon so fun. Thanks. Jody, you're so great. You made my afternoon. You know, comments like that just, just warm a fellow's heart. I apologize for my hair, by the way. Hasn't been cut recently. It's fine. Okay, I think this painting is done. I Let me go here. Oh, 10% battery. We're risking it right here. I'm done. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to see what you did, so please share it. Tag me specifically, Keenan, K-E-E-N-A-N. -E -E <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't tag me. That'd be some notifications. You can tag me. I'm actually excited about that. You do what you want to do. So I'm going to head out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. And please keep painting and creating. And we hope you have a great day. We'll see you around. I think that's it.